The National Association of Police Organizations is calling for a boycott of Nike. This after the sportswear giant made former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick the face of its Just Do It 30th anniversary campaign. Reaction to the news was swift on social media and the stock market. Nike today, the worst performing member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, its shares falling more than 3%. We're going to bring in our panel now to discuss the fallout. Lee Carter, GOP communication strategist, Robin Byro, and Ned Ryan are back with us. Um, I got to start with you, uh, Lee. You, now, you don't think this is a, a bad, you think this is not a bad move on their part, the, uh, Nike's part. From a business perspective, I absolutely don't think this is a bad move. I know that the stock moved today. I know they're down 3%. That's a short-term issue. I think longer term, this is going to be smart for them. They know who their target audience is. They know who they are. And this is a statement about, you know, appealing to the athlete in all of us. And the athletes and a lot of athletes agree with this stance. And we're seeing, right, the consumer right now, 8 in 10 Americans, is more likely to buy a product if they think that their values are aligned with the company that they buy them from. So I think you're going to see a lot of people out there buying more Nike, saying this says I'm pro-free speech, that I, I agree with this. And I think that all the, the things we're seeing today where people are burning their Nikes and all that is probably going to be over by tomorrow. You know, uh, uh, Robin, uh, I, 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 I get where millennials probably are more sympathetic uh, to, to Colin Kaepernick than, than the older consumers out there. But, but by the same token, particularly when it comes to, to, to Nike and the NFL, uh, you know, the big time money that is spent uh, at the, on the tickets, and at, the, at the parties and in the parking lot, those kind of things, those aren't millennials. You know, I've been to a lot of ball games, and, and millennials don't yeah. go to those kind of games. In fact, I looked up the top 30 selling jerseys of last year, and I cannot find Colin Kaepernick's jersey anywhere on this list. So I'm not sure. I know, I know it's a heck of a gambit, but is it worth it? Uh, well, you know, that's a that's a tough question, but a good one. Uh, this is going to have ramifications for the NFL. It's going to continue the controversy. Uh, this has been a very controversial topic. You know, I'm a veteran myself, so this is a, an issue that's kind of dear to me. Uh, Americans, though, have con forgotten uh, that this was uh, initially suggested by Nate Boyer, a special forces veteran, as a way to show respect, uh, because when we as as uh, as soldiers, we take a knee when we're injured, uh, and it was symbolic to show that he was injured by racial injustice, but that's all been conflated, lost in the wash. Uh, so, you know, it, it remains to be seen. The market fluctuation, I agree, I think that will be temporary, but I think they're really enjoying all of this free media, Charles. They, they might be, uh, and, I, and before I get to you, Ned, I do want to share uh, a, a quote President Trump. He spoke with the Daily Caller in an exclusive interview, and he said that, quote, I think it's a, a uh, think as far as sending a message, I think it's a terrible message and a message that shouldn't be sent. There's no reason for it. You know, one of the things uh, is I think that to Lee's point, they're trying to reconnect to maybe younger buyers because I yes. got to tell you, in the last three years, Adidas has eaten their lunch. Now, Nike is obviously they a are. much bigger company, but from a market share perspective and from a stock perspective, in three years, Adidas stock up 221 percent, Nike shares up only 50 percent. Uh, look at that chart. That tells you almost everything you need to know. Was the gambit worth it to close that gap? <laughs> well, I have to tell you, Charles, that on this announcement, I, I, my first thought was, the FEC might want to open an investigation into Nike for making a massive in-kind contribution to Trump's 2020 re-election exactly. campaign. <laughs> because this is going to highlight yet again a winning issue for Donald Trump. And, and you look at this from a political view, sure. Charles, about 60 percent of independents think it is inappropriate to kneel or protest the American flag and our national anthem. But you know what? Nike's free to make its own financial decisions. If it wants to have a guy that wore socks that portrayed officers as pigs, knock yourself out. Where they seem to have forgotten in all of this decision, if they really are targeting a younger generation, millennials, Republicans and conservatives and patriotic Americans who want to see the flag and the national anthem respected, we actually buy athletic shoes. And so I think people are going to vote with their pocketbooks. Yeah, but they think you buy the Skechers, though, man. I mean, they, they, they think they lost you to Skechers a long time ago. So, <laughs> let me, let, you know, I want to get back to this list because Alejandro uh, Villanueva yeah. of the um, Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, he's a famous vet. And I think the reason his jersey is so popular, he's number seven, is because he's a vet. And he did not, he does stand for the national anthem, and he bucked his That's entire right. team. And I think he created a whole wave of fandom. So... Again, you know, you see this and you know almost everything is polarizing and politicized mm -hmm. these days. 
Do you think that companies should keep going down this path? I, I think that it is the it is the trend that um, companies need to take a stand. It used to be that the lowest risk, risk option was to stand on the sideline and do nothing and not say anything about the big issue of the day, do things that were easy, um, that were popular. I think now companies have to make decisions that are tough, that we are a politicized nation. People, every th decision you make from the cup of coffee that you wear, the brand that you choose is making a statement about your values and your politics Does and who you are. Does anything make a statement about quality, how great, how great the product is, the usefulness of the product, the value of the product. What is the value proposition, the old school value proposition that I've made a product that's the best in the market and you should use it? I think that that's assumed, right? I think that consumers today assume at the baseline that it's a good product. And then if you take that good product that's the quality and all those things you're looking for and layer on what this says about me as a human being, if I go to Chick-fil-A, I'm making a statement about who I am. If I'm in, you know, drinking Starbucks, yeah, I'm making a statement. Yeah, you're telling me that you want good you chicken. That's exactly. all you're telling me. That's all you're telling me. That's all you're telling me. Listen, I, and I totally I, agree Charles. with Ned here that this is, by the way, this is going to be one of the biggest boons to the midterm turnout for the Republicans. I Real think that this is another reason why people are so upset with the elite that this seems out of touch but i think it's a smart business move for nike very quick ned please charles do we have to politicize everything the american people i think are getting tired of this they want some sort of escapism they want to be able to go to movies and sporting events and turn on their tv without having these social justice warriors cram everything down their throats we don't have to politicize everything let people enjoy certain things let them enjoy sports for sports sake TV right. for TV's sake, movies for movie's sake. I, and I think this will backfire on them because they're very puritanical. You will be compelled. You I, will be I compelled think you're to right. get woke. And I think it has backfired on Hollywood. Uh, but I will share with you guys, go see the documentary if you can. Pick it a litter. I don't care what side of the political aisle you're on. It's about seeing eye dogs. What they go through, I love it.